And now, ladies and gentlemen, a word from Ted Pearson. Thank you, Bob. Well, next Sunday is Father's Day, so by way of paying tribute to many a dad and as a reminder to an equal number of devoted wives, let's listen for a brief minute to a quick breakfast time. Hey, Mom, what's the matter with Dad? Is he worried or mad or something? Well, not that I know of, son. Why? Oh, only that he always used to have two cups of coffee this morning. Here he goes off again without even finishing one. Funny. Well, most youngsters have pretty sharp eyes when it comes to checking up on Dad. Most wives have, too. So just let me say this to all you ladies listening. If your son's dad has been skipping the coffee lately or leaving his coffee cup half-filled, why don't you treat him to Maxwell House coffee? I know he'll appreciate it. He'll thank you for it. Because men do enjoy the extra smooth, mellow flavor, the full-bodied goodness of this matchless blend of the world's choice coffee. In fact, you both like its deeply satisfying roaster-rich flavor. And you'll find it easier to make a better cup of coffee, too, no matter how you make it. The reason is... We offer you Maxwell House in a choice of two grinds. The special drip grind Maxwell House for all drip and glass coffee makers, and the regular grind for percolator or boil coffee. Two different methods, so naturally two different grinds. But one delicious flavor. Now, if you haven't tried Maxwell House lately, buy a can of this better coffee tomorrow. In the one-pound size, or if you use lots of coffee, you'll find a two-pound size a really thrifty buy. <laughs> Comes now the concert hall, which Meredith, in honor of Father's Day, is presenting for men only. But I feel sure that a lot of you ladies will be sorry if you don't listen, because, after all, everybody loves a really great march tune. And Meredith's concert hall selection tonight is a group of some of the great marches by John Philip Sousa. So pull up your chairs, man, and get ready to stamp your feet. But don't go away, girls. All right, Meredith. gentlemen, I'll give you a few hints on the extraordinarily fine program we're lining up for you next week. To begin with, our special guest list will be headed by one of the most brilliant performers on our lot, that personable young fellow, Jimmy Stewart. Other honored guests will be Una Merkel, Barnett Parker, and the professional tennis champion of the world, Ellsworth Vine. All this, mind you, in addition to your regular favorites, Fanny Bryce and Hanley Stafford, Frank Morgan, Mary Martin, Douglas McPhail, and Meredith Wilson and his orchestra. Remember that your ticket of admission to this super fine hour of entertainment is just your loyalty to Maxwell House Coffee. Be sure to listen to good news next Thursday. Incidentally, have you seen Toy Wife yet? Well, when you see the fine performances of Louise Reiner, Melvin Douglas, and Robert Young, I know you'll get a real kick out of it. In the meantime, go to the movies and take the family with you. This is Bob Taylor saying good night. <laughs> Next Monday, thousands of retail grocers from every section of the country are meeting at Cincinnati for the 41st Annual Convention of the National Association of Retail Grocers. Our heartiest greetings go out to the grocers of the nation. May their, May their convention be the greatest ever held. 
This is Ted Pearson saying good night and good luck for the makers of Maxwell House. The coffee that's always good to the last drop. Everywhere I go, This is the National Broadcasting Company. You are listening to KFI Los Angeles.